to barakura me. A ba 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 me nile. Any to ba di te mommy. A ba 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 me lejo. I get back in oh. I know they walk alone. I get back in oh. I know they walk alone. Who they are back? I got the God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three of them join. I get back in home. I know they walk alone. And it's about a cool of the and it's about the temami. Ababa me leja. And it's about a cool of me. Eh, Ababa me leja. I'm dancing, oh. I get back in oh I know they walk alone. Who they are back? I got the God the Father, God the God the Son, I got the Holy Spirit. Three of them join. I get back in oh <laughs> I know they walk alone. This song I need to do it again when I have my camera on because I recently discovered this song and it's been playing on my head for every day. This song, oh my god, it makes sense. Film gay. <laughs> you started off this show for us. Offering time. You <laughs> thank you, my darling. Offering time. You won't give offering of five pounds uh, five dollars. God will bless you. Thank you, my darling. I appreciate you. I saw your comment before I came on live, and I was just laughing. You said, Auntie B, please, we need to check the list. I suspect one particular Bodo Farm brother on this list. <laughs> Why are you talking Chidima? Chidima is not Chidima is a girl now. Why <laughs> Chidima? Chidima, what happened? <laughs> the comment section was busy before I came online. Oh my god. So we're having a cruise. We're having a cruise Thursday. It's been a while since we had one of those cruise. We catch cruise on Thursdays, right? Mm -hmm. Not every Thursday, but I like it when we can do this. So today we are catching cruise. Brother Ben, you are you are you are welcome today. We are catching cruise today. <laughs> oh my God, film girl, beg I can't laugh. So let me greet you guys. Welcome everybody over the farm. You know, my parents raised me well, so I know how to greet. So I greet you all. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. How are you? I hope you're well. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Give us a thumbs up. Yes, the blissful place. That song, eh? Very powerful. I've been, I've been, I had, I've had it on repeat in the house. I'm sure everybody's tired of me now. I put it on. Am I the only person that takes speaker into the bathroom when I'm having a bath? I have some all these quirks, very weird things that I do. I literally take my speaker and my music into the bathroom when I'm going to bath. Whether I'm meditating or listening to the word of God or doing money division, I will carry my speaker. The thing, eh? Jesus. <laughs> they don't tire for me. <laughs> my case is accept me as I am. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. I greet you now. I had you all. I hope you are well. Please give us a thumbs up. Do you take the speaker as well, Liz? You take speaker to the bathroom? Ha! I don't know. For some reason, the bathroom is somewhere that I really, really meditate. I don't understand it. Even me, Koyemi. Most of the inspiration I get is when I'm in the bath and I'm having a shower, I'm having a bath. Bathroom is a very special place in my life. I don't know why. So that's why I have to make sure that my bathroom is always on point because I spend a lot of time there. <laughs> eh? Rivet, you have a small speaker. You think into the bathroom too? I thought I was the only one. <laughs> I will go into the bathroom and take my speaker and my phone and be listening on the speaker. If I'm listening to music like this song that I was singing, I will put it on blast. I will just be meditating and praying in the spirit. I, I just love it. Gigi, welcome, sis. You do that as well. Oh, okay. I'm not alone. Thank you. Lee, I love you too, darling. Welcome, welcome. Esther, you do that as well. Okay. Now I know I'm not crazy. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Kukua, you said the bathroom is a sanctuary for many women. 
you know that right that is the only place that you can stay and nobody will come and say i need this i want this uh, can you do this uh, where's my food where's my this oh you, you know uh, you guys men don't understand the struggles of of many women ah uh, it's not easy yeah Jesus said she gets revelation, clarity, direction. Bathroom is your special altar. Ah, no bathroom. Okay, I'm not alone then. All right. Because bathroom for me is a special place. I don't know why, but I get a lot of... When that water is just pouring on you and you are just alone, you are in, in, your, in, your, in your brain, in your thoughts, you are in the spirit and you are meditating, you are reflecting and you are just connecting. If you are a spiritual person, you connect quite a lot in the bathroom. Thank you, everybody, for affirming me. For letting me know that, okay, I'm not alone in this in this bathroom thing. Welcome, everybody. Please give us a thumbs up. So, about a week ago, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. Please give us a thumbs up. About, is it a week? No, two weeks now. About two weeks ago, I brought you the story about the richest black woman in Nigeria. Not in the world anymore. She's number six. I did check. She's number six black woman. Now, Oprah is still the, the first black, the richest black woman in the world today is Oprah Winfrey. Yeah? Yeah. There was a time that uh, Mommy Alakija overtook Oprah, but Oprah has overtaken again. Oprah is at the top of that list. But Mommy is still doing well. She's doing well. Welcome, everybody. Give us a thumbs up. So, I brought you the G's that, um, you know, she's divorcing her husband of over almost 50 years they've been together his name is uncle but um modupe i remember because that's my sister's name my late sister is called modupe and yeah so we did a show about it and the thing has been you know it's done the rounds on social media with people talking having their opinions about it what happened what doesn't happen you know when you don't give people enough information all you get on this social media street and internet street is speculations. Ah, mm. uh, Esther say I have a permanent speaker in my bathroom. Sticker to the wall. Ah, uh, Esther. Okay, so I'm not alone. Oshie Jari, that song uh, you should sing it. You should put, put it on your speaker when you are when you are in the bath. Oh my God, the vocals of that lady is too much. It makes sense. She's so good. I like worship music. I like uh, praise and worship. That's all I listen to all day, especially in the morning. Thank you, everybody. So we talked about Mommy Alakija and Daddy Alakija about two weeks ago. And it was, no, it was a very shocking story to a lot of us because we're like, these people are, they are not young people. They are in their 70s. How is this happening? Okay, and we had a discussion. So before I get on, let me tell you guys about um, Mommy Alakija is quite wealthy. She's very very rich. I know a lot of people were saying in the uh in the comment section of that video that we did that oh that they both have money. They are both rich, but she's actually richer. Like she's she's loaded. This mommy is loaded. She's so even at as. As at 2020, I'm, I'm literally giving this info from Forbes list. This is the Forbes. 2020 Africans Billionaires Net Worth. Mommy, Al Fallon Rishi Alakija was worth $1 billion. As at 2020. That's four years ago. So we are not talking about... Uh, Shishi and Kobo. We are not talking about cents. We're not talking about uh, a few da a few thousand dollars, a few hundred. Mm -mm. We are talking about billion. She has one billion in her net worth as of 2020. So let that sink in. All of you that are in the abroad, you are in America especially. Mm -hmm. And you are any dollars. <laughs> Breathe it in. Just, just take it in. Take it in for a minute. One billion dollars. So she's very rich. The kind of wealth she has is not the kind of wealth that she can finish in her lifetime. 
She, her children cannot finish it. It's a lot of money. It's oil money. Okay? Don't forget that she got a an oil well. You need to read her book. She she wrote a lot of books. Um, Not a lot, but a few, a few books where she talked about her life story. Okay? She she made a lot of money from oil during the oil and she said that that oil well did not produce anything for how many years i think she said it was 17 or 18 years if you're in the comment section you remember the story please correct me if i'm wrong but eventually they hit gold one billion dollars they me see ah tibani ah what am i doing with my life can you kin mo nse ni uk yi odutu ti fe pa o fe pa o ta mi kini mo what am i doing with my life <laughs> 1 billion dollars uh -huh. so you now know that we are talking about the 1% of the 1% she is rubbing shoulders with who is who in nigeria she's very very wealthy let's just put it that way she has money she's rich she's filthy rich <laughs> yes she's very very rich Okay, let's go on. She runs the business. Oh, brother Ben, I was calling your name. Uh -huh. Very good. It was 15 years before she 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 hit oil. Yeah. You know, and sometimes when you hear about you know people that are very wealthy, when you hear their story, it is always good for you to do some research because young people think that when you are a billionaire, you just woke up and you're no. A lot of all these people they pay their dues. Do you know how this and this mommy started? She was she was a, a fashion designer. Back in the day, they were not calling them fashion designer, they were calling them tailor. Mm -hmm. During Babangida era, she was making clothes for Miriam Babangida. Miriam Babangida was uh, that was during the military era in Nigeria. She was the one that brought May I so rest in peace. She was the first lady that brought glamour into that role as a first lady. She actually created the office of the first lady in Nigeria and she brought so much glamour. She was a very beautiful woman. Like, ha, huh, that woman fine. When you say Orege Lewa, black, beautiful, ebony beauty. She was married to one of the longest serving military dictators in Nigeria. Babangida, he's still alive. She's from the South. She was married to an house man. So, this woman is loaded. We've established that. Okay, let's continue. So, I told you guys about how uh, she said she was ending her marriage because she didn't give us the reason. She just said that the marriage is ending. And we were here talking about what could have happened. Why would mommy be ending her marriage, you know, after so many years? four children almost 50 years of marriage kilo what can it be what could it have been so there was a lot of expectation about that there was a lot of um you know it's plenty plenty story because she was not giving us any information all we know is that it was just a straightforward question uh if a straightforward point that on the uh, i think it was the will said this is the marriage is ending. They are both, you know, step to genera, and that's what they are. They are in their seventies. Uncle is 78, 76, or oh, and the uh, auntie is 72, 78. Okay, so after that, remember we're making fun that day here when uh, someone like Sam Olu was saying that uh, if she wants to marry mommy, that the wife. Remember Samolu, our brother here is married though. He's married to to my one of my 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 aburo in the house. And he said that the wife self will give him permission to go and marry. <laughs> Chidima. Chidima said the ancestors. They are not though. You think 70 is old. I wanna mato de ben. You will be shocked. Age is a... It goes very quick. Remember how we were young and we used to call our aunties old? Hmm? See, I remember when you were a little girl, you used to look at your aunties in their 40s and 50s and you look at them as old. Do you know that me, I can speak for myself that I'm in that category now that people are calling old? <laughs> how old am I? 
Joe will not be me. Where was I born? Just yesterday. Okay. Ah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a do me alone, me. But that's the circle of life. We thank God. We thank God for life and good health. Anyway. So, we now got the news, babe. After mommy following Shola Kija with her $1 billion uh, portfolio announced that her marriage is end ending to uncle. That uh, this is this is the couple. Yeah. Uh, she's a very beautiful woman, I must say. She's very, very beautiful. I, I mean, when they say black don't crack, wow. If you see some other culture like Oyibo people when they be 70. And let me not even go 70. Let me come to 50s now because we're there here now. If you see Oyibo woman that is my age, mate, Jesus, you go run. Very, very rarely before you see, you know, other uh, race aging so well as black people. Black, when they say black don't crack, no, it doesn't. It doesn't crack at all. It doesn't crack. I'm trying to see if I can get the net worth of the husband or the ex-husband, but I can't get it. It's not on Forbes list. You know you have to have money to a certain to a certain extent for your name to enter Forbes list. Uh, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. She's the one that is coming up. So, I mean, it's safe for us to say that she's the one with the money. We all know that anyway. But you know, as a Yoruba woman, a Nigerian woman, if you have money, it's almost... Because the society frowns at it, you having more money than your husband. Okay? <laughs> Tell me to say, skin they crack at 20s. Ah, make a kabaso. Men will not even talk. Hey, Jesus. No, well, you will learn to appreciate your black skin when you are aging, my people. This black skin, huh? I beg, I love, I love my skin. I no go lie. So, um, yeah, we know that that she's the one with the money. But you know, as a Nigerian woman, you know, uh, it is not very, very. People don't like it. The average, let's be honest. This is me being totally honest now. The average Nigerian woman and man will like the husband in any marriage to be the one that has more money. For me, I think it just makes life easier because then you will not need to be trying to prove yourself that you are submissive, you are humble, you love your husband. It's not about money. It just takes all that away. But unfortunately, life doesn't happen like that. The Bible tells us that hey, God, eh, it is who God wants to bless that he will bless. And it's a lot of mashorefu, lo mashorefu. It is who God wants to, to, to lift up that he will lift up. So it doesn't always happen like that. That you have couples in every marriage that you will see that the husband is more successful. Sometimes the woman can be the one with the grace for success. But I'm not going to lie to you. It's a lot of people struggle with it. They do. A lot of our men, our brothers and, and our uncles, our daddies, they struggle with it when the woman is the one that has more money. Even in the diaspora, we see it all the time. We do. But you know... Uh, you cannot question God. You never know. God has a will. God, we can't question God the way God works. Mm? No, I don't think there was anything. Uh, Timothy, I don't think so. Oh, to be honest, I don't think so. I don't think so. Some people are just naturally very beautiful. Mm. Yes, welcome everybody. Give us a thumbs up. So, uh, it is difficult. It's very, very difficult when you are a success, successful single woman. Ah, it's very, very difficult. A lot of men will be threatened by your success. Ah, my level is not up to this. So, will she be submissive? Will she respect me? And I do understand that completely. 
because again for our agenda when you have money money is something that brings power it brings influence it brings it gives you a voice money money has power let's not deceive ourselves so yeah i don't understand that you know a lot of men will have reservations about a woman that has money be ah this one ah i don't want to be with daniel you know but but she will alone alone she share god works in mysterious way you never know in some families is the woman that has the grace for wealth to make money and 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 some husbands don't have a problem with that as long as you don't lord it over them you know you still do your duties you know as a wife you still recognize their leadership as the head of the family and all that but it's not everybody that has that maturity and that level of you know that level of um i don't know grace will i call it to be able to handle a woman who is very successful is is difficult mm. it's very difficult so anyway let me get to it what has happened is that they said that according to all the online uh rooms, this is from legit tv for long show alaki reportedly received over one million eh, i thought it's one thousand egg by me eh? i thought it's one thousand no it's one million marriage proposals within 24 hours after news of her separation with husband leaks <laughs> one million ah, me i was thinking is one thousand no egg by me i love the book now actually boy can repost and talk say before uncle now let her one chop the money <laughs> alpha men when stand well is a turn to flex <laughs> alpha men i know i don't know whether i understand though eh? can't see comments can't see comments if you see comments eh, you will laugh tire everybody they comment so all of you that entered into mommy i like it just uh that sent her a letter gm whatever you sent her mm -hmm. show yourself brother ben are you in that are you in that whatsapp group show yourself because some of you over the farm <laughs> if you are in that whatsapp group a friend of mine uh did a show one time she's a youtuber she did a show one time diola bao new auto jamaitao monkey i know you always watch so i just salute you she was talking about gold digging babe. in this day and age everybody is digging gold though back in the day they used to say it's women that are gold diggers they are gold diggers we go after men that have money that's why all these small small girls they don't want their age mates they want and want baba olowo they are gold diggers but to be honest, is the only women that are digging gold. How is a 92-year-old mommy? A mommy that is 92 year old. How is she getting over one million marriage proposal within one week? Eh? Mommy announced eh, that her marriage has ended. Eh, make it make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Brother Ben, I know your letter is among those letters because you cuckoo told us before where you will apply. Mm -hmm. I beg to apply. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank God. You're confessing, see? Gravitas, mine is letter number two before all those Mongo Park will beat me to her love. <laughs> but Ben, you are number two on that list. Uh -huh. I already suspected you. Who are the people that are sending love letter to mommy at 72? Mm hmm? You are sending love letter to mommy at 72. Hey, mommy. Muni feima. Excuse me, ma. Mufe doima. Eh? You are not afraid of the age. Hey, oh, George. Oh, George. Oh, George. Oh, Daddy at mommy. You are not afraid. Hmm? You are not afraid. Really? Really? Okay. All of you, Alpha men. 
<laughs> come out, I come and confess. I want Jawa Shayi, Mondro Deyi. My link is in the comment section. Who are the people proposing marriage to mommy? Mommy is 72. And she's married, she was married for almost 50 years. Who are the people? So who are the go, go diggers, really? Who are the gold diggers? Who are the people? So are you you want to tell me now that they are looking for love? Ah, brother Ben, eh, be rolon, where they be rolon. Oh my god. So my link is the comment section. Please use the link. <laughs> we are catching cruzo. Somebody say I'm a gold digger. <laughs> AG Ohio say I'm a gold and diamond digger. <laughs> Come and tell me what you want. Share FB money. Do you want to have a child? She's 72. Oh, <laughs> uh, what do you want? You want to run the company? Eh? You want to run mommy's company? I want Jawa Come on, come and tell us the truth. Is this love? Is this love? Come and tell us the truth. Too. Who are the people that are proposing marriage to? Mm? Eh? Somebody was saying, ah, 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 ah. Hey, money, money, money is a rich man's word. Bell, Bell said, I'm not lesbian, but for the sweet life, I'll propose as well. <laughs> One billion dollars, they enter people. They enter people. <laughs> they enter people. Why? But I Ben, I'm not a troublemaker. Now you talk, say you love mommy. Yo. When you hear one billion, now you call the love. Where is this love coming for? Ah, brother Ben, brother Ben. Who are the people? One million Nigerian girls are always crying every day. Pay. Nigerian men don't want to marry. All these young, all these young lads. Hmm? Is it ten thousand? Do you care? It's 10,000. Hey, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I didn't know. I thought it's 1 million. Okay. It's 10,000. Still a lot, though. Still a lot. 10,000 suitors under one week. When Nigerian girls are busy in the comment section on social media saying that Nigerian men don't want to commit, you guys don't want to marry. All of a sudden, you want to marry a 72 year old mommy, grandmama, mm -hmm. septuagenarian. Because of one billion dollars, Oleni, Oleni. <laughs> oh my God! Anyway, we're just catching crews. The truth is that the truth is that um, at the end of the day, yeah, this is what I've realized. Everybody wants somebody that can make their life better. That's the truth, whether man or woman. Yeah. That's the truth. If you want to say something, jump in. I'm going to end soon. Yeah, I'm not staying here. So my link is in the comment section. So I saw something on, uh, let me go on Instagram and show you guys. Let me show you guys what I saw. Mm hmm Let me show you something that I saw. Eh? Who is proposing? We want to know who is proposing. Guys, give us a thumbs up. We are doing Cruise Thursday. This is Cruise Thursday. I saw something, guys, I want to show you. If you want to say something, please jump in. If you don't, nobody is calling, then I will end in 10 minutes. I want to show you something on Instagram. I saw something today on Dr. Shola's page. You know, Dr. Shola is our friend. Is our uncle and our friend. And there was something you posted today. Uh, <laughs> let me show you. While we are still talking about those who are digging for gold and those who are digging for silver, everybody is on this table. That is the truth. Uh, it's not only women that go to guys anymore. Mm. Of course, you can find love at any age. Mm -hmm. Eh, Ahmed said, my gender not the fear test us again because of money. 
Ahmed, you know they see your agenda. Where did they come Europe? They go America, go find all those. Uh, did they? You know they see them. The, the, you, all those. I saw one. The woman was on a wheelchair. People say, ah, it's because of paper. It's because of paper. It's because they want to come abroad. Now, what will they hear? So, Ahmed, your agenda. Everybody's hustling, hustling, hustling. So this is why I saw today to let you know. It's not only mommy Alaki Jao. We all want what we want. Mm. Oh, thank you so much, my darling. Oh, you're giving me super chat again. You're already doing too much. Mm? The fact that you started calling into the show, self. Ah, can you fresh for your body? Ah, bro, me dad. I can't love you less. Oh gone. Thank you, my love. Oh I can't wait to give you a hug. I know how to hug properly. When I land in Houston like this, the hug I will give you a eh, Kai. You'll be surprised. So this is what I saw in, in, in Dr. Shola's page. He posted it, I think, today or yesterday. Somebody sent him a message. You can see this is DM. I'm not sure whether it's Instagram or Facebook. And they said, hello, Mr. Shola. Disrespect. You are calling him Mr. He said, that doctor or pastor. Oh, it's offering time. Thank you, my love. The person said, hello, Mr. Shola. I need a wife, but she must be ready to submit and do a joint account. <laughs> Let me read it again. Hello, Mr. Shola. I need a wife, but she must be ready to submit and do a joint account. I am presently in Indianapolis. That's what they call her. Indianapolis. Kindly work on it for me. So the man said he's looking for a wife, but this is the criteria. This is the only thing he wants from the wife is somebody that will submit and do joint accounts. That's the criteria. <laughs> oh, eh, Rojo Ole, Ole, Barawo. <laughs> you are looking for a wife, it's paycheck. You are, are you looking for a wife or you're looking for a paycheck? Mm? Now, Dr. Shola, you know, Dr. Shola, you know, Kuku, they suffer fools. You know, they suffer fools at all. He go give you, if you bring bass, he go give you boost. Now, Dr. Shola, Shola, tell and say, some bush people are there in Indiana, Indianapolis, so you guys need to relocate back to Ibadan. Or Akure, Ben, you are ne, Ola don't collect. That's your state capital, Akure. Ondo is far. <laughs> you don't need a wife. Buy a dog, bro. In America, Indianapolis. She, he, the uh, uncle said the only thing he wants in a wife, submit your paycheck. No button. Just submit and paycheck. Ah, ah, ah. You are looking for paycheck. Is it wife you need or you need money? Ah, okay. Braben, welcome, Mo. Hey, Auntie B. <laughs> what to you? Hey, hey, hey. Auntie B, why you they do us like this today now? <laughs> no, no, I want marry now. No, you, no, I want to apply. Why not they apply? 10,000 people don't apply to marry uh, mommy. Mommy has 72. Age is no longer a number. When you be saying, for the regular girl that is 30 years in Nigeria, people are, they are telling her she's old. They are shaming her already, say she's too old. Ah, Auntie B. <laughs> 72 Auntie is B. Times, times two of that. Plus Jara. Plus Jara. <laughs> Auntie B, those, those 30 plus or 30 something girls in Nigeria, they are liability, Auntie B. They be liability. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Tell me, tell me, I beg, how? Ah, Auntie B, they are demand plenty. They want you to pay their rent, buy them car, take yeah. care of everything they need, you know? But with Mommy Alakija now, you know, this yeah. is what we are talking God grace, divine favor. Eh? Yeah. With Mommy Alakija, this is divine favor. Any guy will get lucky now. <laughs> Auntie B. <laughs> hey. The, in fact, age is nothing but number as far as she's concerned. You don't see her picture. Uh, Auntie B. <laughs> but I'm there. Oh, they're very long. Age is nothing but number 72. 72. Auntie B. Now then Sabi take care of men pass. She will oh, be God. so soft. You know they hear yeah. her voice. Wait, in fact, I have like three of her videos. Are they play them? Auto, auto, auto. She has this very sweet voice, calm, 
When she's speaking, you know that money is speaking. Unlike yes. this, our 30 years old uh, ladies, when they are talking, you know that they need something. But with this game, Mommy Alakija, so twice. One billion dollars they talk. Ah, Auntie B, you, I, I know if, I'm not sure if I've made one billion before I apply for America. <laughs> <laughs> What are we try saying now? Million, you first try one million before you they talk of one billion. Uh, you know how many uh, zeros there for billion? <laughs> Auntie B, make we even try, make we even start from 200,000 first. My That's dear. it, go work, go work, yeah. go head for hospital. Uh, but with this kind of man, my dear, you know they do for one line now. So <laughs> when you want me, I wish you they do like uh, you they you they you they do like hush puppy. Now you go feel they talk that kind of money now. Once you uh, do legit work, you are earning a, an income. <laughs> how you want to get that money? How? Now so that it be every month now with the do account, I can't know the balance. Sometimes <laughs> when my salary is paid, I go just leave the thing there like three days. I no go pay anything. I'll just make it there. Man, I just they look out for her. No, you they even look and say something oh, to your account. Make, make <laughs> I just they look at. But when they go reach like four days like this, now so they go begin call guy. Oh, we're checking on you. Um, it's like you missing one payment. Sometimes one day I tell one, I'm not missing no payment. I just don't want to pay yet. <laughs> Like the money stay in my account for your love. <laughs> ah. And then now imagine you as 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 Mama Lucky Jad now. I was telling my mother the other day, say, babe, what do you think? This guy, Mama, as he did now, any guy will get luck, Marian. The person don't do he don't he don't complete with that. And my wife was joking. She said, Ah, what are you waiting for? Go apply now. No what I will be your PA. Just tell her I'll be your younger sister. You know, I tell you, my wife Naibu. <laughs> you like money? Ah, who don't like money, Auntie B? Uh -huh. eh? Now this kind of mama with a talk. No, be all those Nigerian guys. We go to marry uh, 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 old uh, Oyibo. Some of the old Oyibo when they marry now, they have problem. They be for them. Mike, Mike eh? I go marry the one where no get money. <laughs> Imagine now, Mike, Mike I go marry. I want. I want. I want. I want. I want. Eh, I go marry. I want to learn Kupa. I don't want call them for English. I want to learn Kupa. What do you say? Now to drink or go go and finish, come to disturb your life. Eh? See, mommy, I like it, Jack. You go, you go beat on top. You go beat my girl top. You look at his house. Oh, Jesus. Now this guy, mommy, I like it, Jack. Divorce are they support. This is not better divorce. Eh? This is a good divorce. Divorce where they loaded. Eh? This guy, uh, if, you are, if I marry this guy, mama, anywhere she's going to go carry her bag. You carry her bag. I will be the best husband so far, and to be. In fact, remember your brother sister I can't support me. Make sure you hey, consider my application. Hey, just go, go. We don't laugh, Rich. You do it. Well. Thank you, my You do it. Well. Thank you, Auntie B. You say you will carry him back. You don't even care when see your family go talk. Say you be my old daddy. You know my. You don't mind. You don't mind. You no, don't my back. family care. Now my family said, but they tell the mama say Ben is a good boy, a very honorable boy. He we we know he will not cheat on you. Hey, what? Oh. Well, make I go, Jare. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. With the cash cruise, and you really make us. You don't say they always say funny. You know, eh? We want the cocoa. Money. When the Bible says that money answers all things, money answers all things. Answers all things. Just make money in this life, Jerry. The remaining problem now. Let God go fix over for person. This one you called in Timothy. Ha. <laughs> Timothy, you called in today. Ha. Yes, I did. Hello, Daddy. Yeah. How, how are you? You doing all right? <laughs> hey, Kalima. Yeah, I actually came in to tackle Uncle Ben. Really? But he ran away. Yeah. He ran away. Oh you my God! Let me bring him back. <laughs> Why you bring it back? You know, he's uh, he's always playing the devil's advocate or Robert. Like, no. I can't believe it. Like, can you imagine? They keep abusing girls. Oh, Nigerian girls are these. Ben, come they back. Oh, Timothy is here for you. You are a bad guy. Over attack. Oh, you are a bad guy. You are in court. 70 year old to... man. Oh, yeah, come back. She's a 70 uh -huh. year old woman. She no go feel open leg. Go show leg at her. Eh? <laughs> Uh, ben, ah, ben is back. Oh yeah, Ben, one is 70 year old, 72. But that uh, Kerewa will be an issue. Mm -hmm. No, no. Me, me, oh, he get okay. her with the treat. He drag her with the treat oh, of that women. How? Ah, 72. You don't have to stress her. You don't need a vast cow girl or anything. In fact, now me go, they do all the work. We, we really? are 72. Yes. Because of money now, right? 
Oh, no, this oh. thing Uncle Ben, you come up and you tell, oh, Nigerian women are this. These ladies are this. They're asking for that. See, old 70 year old woman. Oh, that's my sister. I'm going to say knack now, brother. He's going to say dry, man. See this man, she said the cost of a I want you to squirt. <laughs> hey, you're not happy for squirting now. <laughs> I'm a real girl. <laughs> we are talking money here. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, money God. takes care of everything. Yes, so. Yes, they are to be. One billion dollars will make it work. Uh, if it's if it's kind of money, I like it. I say make a wash plate. What am I waiting for? I wash plate. I cook. I clean. If you want pepper yes. soup, I prepare pepper soup. You uh, go lick. You go lick the dry plate down there to join. Oh it. my you god! Go you, <laughs> you go make a it, wet. It go descend. It go descend like Tom Tom. <laughs> this kind one go be like Tom Tom. <laughs> what are you say? The old taste bar go recognize. Say this one a better chocolate. What are we saying? Oh, what are you saying? What are you saying? I don't man. I hear you, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, talk against Nigerian women here again. Hey, Uncle Ben, hmm. just the mood of today. Eh? My sister, eh, eh. I'm not talking against Nigerian women. We are looking at this thing from perspective. Okay, eh. which Nigerian women get one billion dollars? We talk, exactly. say, man, not take care of her. I agree with, I agree with eh? what I said. I agree. Mm -hmm. Go so make money billion, first. So one what? billion. Dollars so Koshenaira. Hey, no, God bless you. Let me, and to be let me, they emphasize that dollar. No mention that dollar. dollar. Hey. Still answer. Mm -hmm. Nigerian yeah. women, Nigerian women are having problem with their husband abroad because they said to go and make one billion dollar, make oh. one billion dollar, and see oh, if Nigerian okay, men will not be the sweetest man. One question. Uh, the way Ben to battle his sorrow, yeah, the way his voice gets, this one makes me laugh. One quick question. Just, just imagine. Probably, if she had like a fetish, and maybe she just wanted you to get involved in some BDSM thingy, right? To what I so in my bed, come up, Christian Grey. You know, uh, you mm. know. Would you, ah. would you be happy with that? Why not? Cause I'm in my bed. Yeah. She be let me know. She my legs off in my jar. They are my not tripper. Be and they love in Dubai. I see my sister. No, now no, we don't get money. Now we know the agree make that chain us to bed. Make money first. Chain us anywhere you want. We don't get what I like. Quick one. What about those girls that go to Dubai to do that stuff? So why do men? Because it's men that criticize them the most. All those the ones girls are that go to Dubai. Tomalon, Lano, Tomalon, you know. Eat one long hose you need that one a hose like this one so we are talking about, about this one that you are doing with a 70 year old woman what are you going to call that this is a divine favor this is divine <laughs> grace we have to look it from the biblical perspective the lord says i will bless you according to your prayer this one a prayer answered <laughs> ah, i never see that much me by you now okay continue ah. I'm leaving you to <laughs> debate it out today. Oh, so yeah, money carry on. No, 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 Auntie B, no, no worries. Eh, I'm gonna keep his stuff, right? The some days, uh, some weeks, more, more, but Thomas be another topic. When you've got another topic, you hear the way you go vehemently against women, right? And no, I'll be broke women. You. This one has one billion dollars. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. No really? how can I love yeah, this Auntie B guy. more now? Uh, uh, we are so talking so about broke women. Has one billion. Okay. Those are broke okay. women. Okay, sister Timothy, let me get serious now. All right, go ahead. Let's flip the situation around. Yeah. If the divorced person here is a rich man, a billionaire like Dangote, he divorced and he's single. Yeah. Are we gonna be saying the same thing? No, we wouldn't. Because uh -huh. say, because now you're flipping it because it sounds like it's favors you your, divine your stance, right? You say it's divine you know, it favors your stance. Because we all know that, th though some people talk about andropos, but medically, some men are still quite active up to that age, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Exactly. So, and that's the same thing you guys use. That's the that's the narrative you use when the thing doesn't, you know, kind of on the other side. And girls, women are like, "Oh, you married the new wife, blah 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 blah, and all of that." But now you're trying to flip it. So I'm not why, flipping why, it. Why, why, why I'm just saying, thirty-year-old ladies that are all married. Why do they call them old? Okay, for me personally, I don't 
call even even if you are 40 you're 45 so far you take care of yourself i don't see you as old because i remember oh. when i told one lady no, no i'm telling you sister this activity i've learned my lesson the first time i got into trouble with america was when i called a 60 years old woman say she's old the woman almost she almost went went crazy on me at work, and that's when they now told me that hey, Obi no So, but on a on a on a on a literal ground, man, I don't see women as old because the thing is, it all comes down to how to you how you take care of yourself. But I want thirty years old. Come what to get pay back on you want. So I'm thirty years old are terrible. But you let don't just, know. Let you just, don't know the, this woman's behavior, right? Do you? You know, you, you see, see, one billion is see, 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 I don't even need to know her to know that she is a good woman. She's married for how many years? 40 something years. And she made money. Women with terrible character don't make this kind of money. Exactly. I agree. Mm. So you know, brother side That's today. An angle. Thank you, Auntie B. Well, uh, am I worried? Why you enter Houston? Even if I know if you show up, I must send your NSC. Don't worry, Auntie B. Just they support us today. You see, my guys are in the comment now. Everybody know we are saying the fact. I support you. Can, I support you. Can, you are telling the truth. Yes, Auntie B. The truth. Yeah, the truth. Hey, justice for men today. Any <laughs> question, I'm ready. I am ready. <laughs> this Mama Lucky ja, is our dream wife the dream side chick? She's the dream side chick. Who would have thought that a day like this would come? Uh, exactly. <laughs> 72. Wow. If you're gonna say don't say chick, chick, chick sounds like Chicken, say chicken. Say chicken. But Auntie B, Auntie B, look at the man, man, I look at now. She looks so good. She's beautiful. She does. She does. Yeah. She does. Eh? I'm not gonna lie. This woman is. Eh? Look at her yeah. flesh. Her skin yeah. is so succulent. Her skin is intact. She's eh? beautiful. See the, see the lips now. If she apply red lipstick <laughs> like this, eh? You say you go, you <laughs> could <laughs> zoom at her picture. No, no, eh? no, no, no. We know what you like. Now red lipstick, you like, brother Ben. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know now. <laughs> I beg, <laughs> maybe now let us apply in peace. Everybody just the bash men we apply see see. I saw that post is when the media and everybody's like, look at them, Nigerian men. Now I don't see old woman. And I'm like, why is the paper on since when they did not know money in papa in grandpapa? Una talk. <laughs> eh? But but we we don't in shame men, do we? We don't ain't shame men. We don't we don't say, oh you're you're old, you're 40, you're 50, you're old. We don't do that. See so that to me see. I don't know, maybe you are not on Facebook or oh, women are shaming men or oh, they are shaming also, especially if you don't have money and you go and leave a nasty comment on a popular post. The All the Nigerian women will come for you. The fact that we investigate everything about you from social media. They are shaming men. I don't even know why you go on Facebook. Why would you also leave a comment on Facebook? Those people over there, they, they're just a different breed. I'm, so, no, I'm not on Facebook for a reason. Facebook, Sister Timothy, if you say Facebook is bad, have you tried Twitter? Twitter no, is worse. I, I, I didn't say no. Twitter, Twitter is crazy, but you know, you still have intellectual discussions. You still have people. You know, the That's friend Nigerian Twitter, oh, brother to Ben. To Nigerian Twitter. <laughs> is so well. I know. So yeah, me, I'm because... on Twitter, but I never see all those madness exactly. because I'm not on Nigerian Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> they they do the same thing. It's just that uh, can I say you women, um, you have more ground than us men. When it comes to social debate, that's why you look as if maybe, oh, man, we don't talk. We don't come out and say, oh, uh, this lady call us old or something. For instance, there is a girl. But have you seen Rena Mockery? You say you people don't talk. Rena Mockery, <laughs> come. No, it's just, I don't oh, use that one know. as our example. See? That one no be mad. No, no, that no, one is terrible, maybe. No, 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 no. Like that her. one. You don't represent you now. 
Sure. No way. No, no, I'm not a fan of him. Him is just looking for whatever we give him money. That's all he's doing. He goes here and there. He's neither here nor there. No, he's not. He's not speaking for me. The people that speak for me, for instance, is man of prestige and uh, Uncle Shola. Eh, hey. Uncle Shola, go 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 go. Now they speak for me. The day where Uncle Shola wants to support us, he go help us. Tell the women waiting day. So Uncle Shola is the kind of person that speak for us. And okay. I don't want to mention the other guy where they speak for us. You, you, you know, go, anybody know Google my like us. So, my leave him, my leave him with the whole wala. Ah, I don't want to mention his name. Mention him, mention him. Now, now, I find now. So, now, no, no, you go be APC. No, APC. The professional life video maker. Where yeah. the Nigeria? Now, him, now they speak for us. Rabbi, you want to make a comment to you now? <laughs> That's I'm not going to mention your name now to be now you mention your name. No money dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Ben, you know, say I support you before. If you bring that refresh come here, me and you will go quarry. That's why I don't mention your name. Oh, I know why at all. I said it's about to now. I'm a ball internet. I'm a, I'm a ball PS. <laughs> I said it's about to now. And sometimes. And you know, not say sometimes he's is the spokesman of the Mugo Park. So somebody and sometimes we like him. Ebi, he said, "I'm here. I'm here. I truth you have no ask." Thank you, Ebi. Thank you. I don't no, mention sure his name, oh. Eh. Hey. <laughs> I said, you know, no. not support anybody na anywhere but left face. Okay. Yes, so. Mm. Oh, but sometimes they support, you know, say himself don't collect water, water. If oh, they I, support I, men, if they support men, and men if they support, he likes to support oh, no. men. If you bring women, he will come <laughs> make you tell your whole story. Go, he go come raise his hand. You'll be like, oh, um, you know, boy, it's my hobby. Are you sure? <laughs> Is that what? Are you sure? I go call him. Oh, man, I leave my friend alone now. I'm a boy, it's my hobby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know, say you know, say your gender don't give her bad goals before your gender don't serve them before, and that thing is painful. So I believe most time when he speak, he's speaking from that pain angle that, that this thing happens to him. You know, I beg. Him all the best. Mm. Maybe, maybe he don't apply to a lucky guy just like the rest of us now. <laughs> nah, I, I beg. And to be help me speak to Chidima, Chidima, get better English. Make I send my letter to her. Make she help me do that. My proposal again. Maybe the thing could be a finish. And please say, on those is file. We go through where you go. <laughs> registration of interest. Yes, you know, so uh, brother, yes, registration of interest. You know, say so you're very popular here. So mm. just <laughs> <laughs> behave yourself. <laughs> No, I'm 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 in my lane now. I don't want to offend any of my sisters. You see, say since I know they apply for anything. Now when this one they're available now, now I show interest. Yeah, and everybody know, you know you everybody know and three whole children. Oh, you don't wow. mind. Ah, Auntie B. Okay. Uh, Auntie B, are we even sure that probably maybe one of her sons uh, maybe one of them is um the same age as Uncle Ben? I mean, leave Ma? Ben alone. Just leave Ben alone. Leave Ben. You say that again, my sister. Yeah. Uh, His sons now. Have you checked out their ages? Uh, it doesn't matter. matter. It, it doesn't matter. matter. Love. Age is just a number. Love. This, love this, this, right now, right now, Mumia Alakija need attention. She need affection. Uh -huh. She need a companion. She need a man who can treat her like a lady. <laughs> That's just all we want to give a to lady. her. No, she needs a, a man who can treat her like a lady who want one billion dollars. <laughs> so, so Uncle Ben, you know, if you were if you were to make if you were to meet any of her sons, so how would you probably how would you greet them or address them? Would you you mean how, like yeah. if I'm dating her and yeah I, I come across it, what, it, what the I, I don't know Americans. American children don't care. I think they grew yeah, up in Amer Western world. Which Americans? They're Nigerians. What do you mean Americans? They raise them abroad, Auntie B. They will they understand. In fact, they will be thanking me. Brother Ben, they say, how much diary you go pay for a billionaire woman? Now you go pay your diary. No, now she go pay my diary. A diary, ah. <laughs> she will pay my dowry. No, 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 Wala. I surrender. I surrender to Brother Ben. He's one tonight. 
Uh, you don't agree say they go pay in bride price, so there's nothing we can say. It, no, it's, exactly. it's group you, price. You, on this one, you can't shame the shameless, right? Uh, no, 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 no. He said they. Will, he said he's not going to pay any bride price. They will pay his groom price. So what else are you going to say? Uh, let's ju let's just leave it. Let's leave let's, it. Let's leave it alone. Let's All leave right. it. You, you won on this round. He's okay. won. He's won. <laughs> mm -hmm. He became an Indian man. He said, "You pay my groom price." <laughs> Braben, you won. You won tonight. Oh, oh. Dali. Yeah. Mm, thank uh, you. Let me leave. It's a nice I hope you had a good laugh, darling. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, bless you. Okay, we're ending now. I've got Anita. Sorry, Anita. I know it took a while to come to you. Ben and uh, Timothy were just having a go at each other. It was it's all fun. Nothing serious. How are you? Unmute yourself, darling. Anita, are you there? I've got Anita in the studio, but she's muted. <laughs> but I better say, he said, how much bride price I want to pay? Say, just pay my groom price. I'm okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Anita, hi. Hello. Bride price I want to pay. Say, just pay my groom price. I'm okay. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Go ahead, my dear. <laughs> maybe, maybe they should introduce groom price. <laughs> We only have bride price in Nigeria. Hello? It's time to introduce group price. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. Hello, hello, Auntie. Oh my God, it's so funny. <laughs> um, I can't believe <laughs> I can't believe Nigerian men. They are just mm -hmm. funny. I'm not surprised, anyways. <laughs> I'm not surprised, like, um, you know, in that country, it's just um all about chasing money, and <laughs> I think like. <laughs> Open everywhere, they're gonna do that as well. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised. And I'm surprised that people are proposing to a 72 year old <laughs> billionaire. <laughs> yeah, it's really crazy. It's funny, but in terms of coming out of Nigeria, I'm not surprised because you, you see how the Asian, how the Asian, you know, women, younger women, right? Yeah, but you know, like. Nigerian guys, they're not they're marrying white hood women anyway. So all the young guys. So why wouldn't why wouldn't they do it to the um Nigerian lady that have money? So they definitely will do it. Right. Okay. We see them doing it to old, very old, <laughs> or to generian, septuagenarian white women, but we've never really seen it with with our own black women before. Maybe that's why we are so shocked. That's why we're so exactly. Tired exactly yeah yeah i feel like because she's one of the richest like one of the richest woman woman because she's very rich so yeah. i feel like that's why all of them are like jumping there that they thought yeah, about they okay to propose marriage. <laughs> they didn't even say i want to date you that's funny how do you marry, yeah how do you offer marriage proposal to someone you don't even know you just auntie b it was just for the money it's just for the money they know that she doesn't have that long left in life so <laughs> they just want to inherit everything I hear I'm you, darling. I hear it's you. crazy and also um i feel like um and and what i don't like is that they they're not jumping to marry marrying these ladies but if it's a young lady she's 30 years old like they when they say she's 30 or late 20 they'll be like go and marry even she's rich they'll be talking down on her anyways they but say, i don't know 30 year old are always looking for something they, they 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 are dating because they want men that can do things but she doesn't need anything she's got everything oh wow oh wow yeah, but yeah. what if those 30 years old or the late 20s or 40s, they're just single, they just need, they're just looking for the right person and they have everything. They have the money, they have everything. <laughs> they still do, they still look down on women like that still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why do you crazy. think they're proposing marriage? Why do you think many people are proposing marriage so much? And so, so, um, so, so to other women? No, to this particular billionaire woman. <laughs> I, I, I feel it's just for the money. It's just for the money. And the money, because they know she's the way, they just want a comfort life. Mm. And a lot of things are going on right now. She just want a comfort life. So I feel like it's just for the money, to be honest. Of course. Nigeria, life is hard in Nigeria. So I don't even blame anybody that wants to, like, you know what? Age doesn't matter. I mm. love you, irrespective of your age. It doesn't matter. It, yeah, it true. Love was when. Uh, Timothy was asking Brother Ben. I know they were, I mean, it was a joke, like they were just catching crews. And Timothy was like, When it comes to Kerry, what are you going to do? He said, ah, mm. 
<laughs> but I, I feel like other women as well, they do have sex, don't they? It's not like they're not having sex. Even though they're on menopause. <laughs> I don't know. How old are you, Anita? I'm in my 30s. Only? Okay. I guess you have to wait to get to that age to know what happens at that age, at 70s. <laughs> we all have to wait. We all have to wait to see what happens. I, I know it's a misconception that a lot of people always, you know, they always assume that once you're at that age, uh, you're not doing anything anymore. But, I mean, you never know. You never know. Depends on how healthy and fit you are. There, I, don't, I don't think there's any age to it. Because I used to wonder, I used to wonder about it. At what age do you stop? But I don't think there's any age for it. I don't think there is. Anyway, thank you so much, Anita. I appreciate you for calling. Braben and Timothy gave us good fun tonight. We had cruise. It's cruise catch cruise Thursday. Uh, asking for a friend said, I think they are proposing because they want for, to go for the wheel. <laughs> It's all about the Benjamins, baby. It's all about the Benjamins. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate you guys. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm ending tonight. We're not staying tonight because we're just having fun. Do you know what? I'm just going to summarize and say in ending that everybody deserves love. Okay? Whether you are rich, you are poor, you are broke, you are broken, you are standing upright, you are, you are connected, you are not connected. It doesn't matter everybody deserves love and if you're going to love somebody and you want to marry them or you're going to go into a relationship then you better make sure it's for the right reason because if you do it for the wrong reason with time the cracks will show and it will break braben thank you for giving us cruise timothy i love you guys thank you so much everybody we had a good fun we had a good laugh tonight it's all fun all those people if you go and check the list of the 10,000 people that are applying to be Mommy Alaki Jazz's uh, uh, husband, some of them will be in their teens, in their in their 30s. Yeah. Oh, Nikoko. Some people, will, some of us will, will never make that money. I don't know. It's not easy to make that money in the diaspora, to be honest. You live in the diaspora to make $1 billion. Hmm doing legit work honest work paycheck ha ah color and share no fuwa let's not say we will never never say never god is merciful but it's it's not it's not an easy thing you can't make it from a paycheck maybe business but yeah you have to have a chain of businesses people who do dodgy businesses and crime they make that money easily but if you want to walk in the straight and narrow paths go easy but it is well do you know what it's not the, the amount of money that you have that matters i don't believe you need to have one billion dollars to be able to you know live a good life the little that you have maximize it use it you know make sure that you are happy your everybody around you is okay that's what matters mm as well thank you so much i appreciate you guys and i will see you soon have a good evening have a good afternoon please give us a thumbs up this was fun it was funny thank you everybody and i'll see you soon bye guys